Hey there, everybody. Good morning. That's a little loud, isn't it? Hey, hope you had a great weekend. My name is Tom Rigsby. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where you get your daily dose from yours truly. It was, uh, well, it was a beautiful day out yesterday and Saturday, wasn't it? Just, man, fantastic. This morning, it's freaking cold. <laughs> Hence the hoodie. I had put this thing away. Had to go get it back out. It's a little bit chilly this morning, but hey, that's not going to stop us from getting things done today, right? It's Monday, fun day, brand new day of a brand new week, so we get brand new opportunities to do things. Hey, do me a favor when you get here, do like Joe just did, who's now regained the title of uh, <laughs> first greeter in the morning. Um, leave me a comment down there. Let me know that you are here, even though you're not first. Joe's already knocked you out of that spot. And whether you're watching live or on the replay, always nice to know that you were here. All right, so over the weekend, I had a a funny thing happen. So last Friday, uh, I think I mentioned it on the show before I left. Last Friday, I went to Hot Coffee. If you're in Huntsville, every other Friday is Hot Coffee Day. Great place to go and uh, network and see the people you like to hang out with. And so I went to hot coffee and in fact took Heine with me to hot coffee. Just took my coffee mug, but I'll tell you why in just a minute. I took my coffee mug and, uh, didn't think anything about it. Went in, got some coffee, went around, said hi to everybody. Had a great speaker. Um, it was just, a, it was a good meeting. And, uh, so then went on with the rest of my day and, you know, did my thing. And then, uh, Saturday morning, I guess, as I tend to do most mornings, I got up, I was scrolling through my Facebook feed and there's, uh, my good friend, Steve Middleton, who had, uh, tagged me in a video. I'm like, well, let's go see what this is. Steve did a whole video about me bringing my coffee mug to hot coffee. And his, to his point, his take on it was the level of planning that was necessary in order for me to do that. Now, I could say that I just grabbed a cup and it was the one that I had and I was drinking coffee on the way there, but it was a little bit more than that. Um, this, well, this and the other one, I've got another mug that's got one of my favorite quotes on it, but these two are kind of intentional because on the other side of this one, there's also a URL there where you can go find out more about me. It's branding. It, it's it's a way to get the message out without beating people over the head with it. Now, so I did plan ahead. It was intentional that uh, that I was there with the mug, but it, it got me thinking, and then just something I wanted to you know share with you. Plan the uh, two quotes from two generals, two World War II generals. First from Eisenhower, he says. Plans are worthless, but planning is priceless. Plans are worthless, but planning is priceless because, and uh, um, this is a patent quote, uh, no plan survives first contact with the enemy. Now, that doesn't, and, and his point, even as he goes on in that conversation, is that not that you don't make plans because they don't survive first contact. But it rather, you can have a plan, but the plan's not going to be executed because things change. And in our day-to-day -day lives, we can have plans. I could have had, I mean, you've probably had this happen. You have plans to make it to a meeting, plans to make it to an event, and the car won't start. Or you get a flat tire. Or the kid's sick in the morning. Or, you know, fill in the blank for you. Great plans, but just unable to execute. You have to adjust. So, so the, the point I want to make with this is that we should plan and we should be intentional about the things that we do and we should be open and willing to adjust looking in fact for the opportunities to adjust. You know, last week we were talking about uh, luck. In fact, I think it was last Monday we talked about luck and uh, Oprah's quote where luck is where preparation meets opportunity. How many, how many times do we miss a great opportunity just because we're not looking for it? 
Look for those opportunities to adjust. See where the plan comes off the rails. Instead of going, well, crap, there goes my whole day. No. Think about what you can do with the the hand you've been dealt today. Now, this might be a little bit of a stretch, but I'm going to run with it. Let's say you've got an important meeting. You get up. You're planning on doing that, and the kid's up, gets up sick, wakes up ill no that's a better way to say it well now your opportunity is to spend your day with your kid now it you know completely derailed the other one but you know what i mean it'll be okay so be open be on the lookout for those opportunities plan ahead do make your plan um don't i'm not saying by any stretch of the imagination don't make plans just saying when you have those plans don't bemoan the times when the plan gets off the rails. Look at them as an opportunity to do something great. I hope that is a an interesting, at least an interesting way to start your Monday morning. It is always my pleasure to be here. Hey, don't forget to leave a comment down there to let me know that you were here. If you like this or you know someone who could use this message, be sure and uh, click on the like for the video and share this with your network so that it can get out to as many people as possible. All right, that's it for today. Monday, Monday, Monday. Nothing special for the rest of the day today. Tomorrow, be back here at 7 o'clock, and then the radio show is tomorrow at 8 o'clock. Be sure and tune in for that as well. That's it. You guys have a magnificent Monday. Talk to you again tomorrow.